Most of us try to eat the right foods and stay thin, but experts tell us we can sabotage our diets without even knowing it. Joel Weber, the author of the Men's Health Big Book of Food and Nutrition, is here to explain five hot spots that can trip you up. Joel, good to see you. Thanks for having me. We're going to debunk some myths here today, right? Absolutely. Okay, we've got the white cheese and the yellow cheese. Yeah. The, the myth. It doesn't matter which one you choose. What do you think? I'm thinking it doesn't matter. That's actually false. Oh. Paler okay. cheeses oh, are actually, thanks. oh, you yeah. hear that? <laughs> Paler cheeses thanks. are actually preferable to yellow ones. So right. all cheese has a lot of fat in it, but okay. there's a lot of myths out there about fat. These are, these are natural fats and those are actually good for us. But what's interesting is that fat actually contains more calories than proteins and carbohydrates. So right. it just adds up faster. But um, in general, you know, the whiter cheeses will contain a lot less calories than the yellow cheeses. Brie, for instance, contains 20 less calories per ounce uh -huh. than cheddar. Okay. So uh -huh. if you're going to mill around the cheese plate during the holidays, go for the brie. All right. All right. Good to know. Okay. Now, this is, this is a trick question. All right. Regular dressing or fat-free dressing? Now, the, the average person, meet Mr. Average Person, would okay. say right. <laughs> fat-free dressing would be the answer there. False. Ah. And this is one of the reasons that we, did, uh, that we did the, the big book of food and nutrition. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of myths out there on this stuff. Turns out that when you add fat with, um, with greens, like mm -hmm. vegetables, um, and we'll go ahead and we'll dress that salad. Sure. What happens is that it actually increases the bioavailability of the nutrients and vitamins in the salad. One study says 15 times as much beta carotene out of those vegetables will, will enter your body. And that okay. doesn't happen when you have the fat-free stuff. Interesting. So it's so the combination. It's, yeah, it's the chemistry. Exactly. It's like, kind of like one plus one equals three almost. All right. Okay. So go for the full fat dressing. All right. Let's move on. I think I'm going to get this one right. Brown rice is better for you than white rice. I'm going to say brown rice is better. That's actually true. Right. Yeah, what happens is this is where it starts and this is what it turns into. And what we're actually really doing when we refine things is that we're stripping away all the fiber and the, the germ and everything that makes it digest slowly. So mm -hmm. what happens is that it spikes your blood sugar and you end up more hungry later. So whenever you're opting for carbohydrates, opt for the whole grain stuff. Mm. I was at a sushi restaurant once and the chef told me, white rice is garbage, don't, don't eat it. Don't Go eat for it. the brown stuff, Okay. whole wheat. Canola oil is better than vegetable oil. True. Okay. Now this is one where I think most kitchens in America have vegetable oil, but really the, the biggest swap you should make is take that vegetable out and put canola oil in across the board. Now one of the things that's the difference between these two, this comes from rapeseed, whereas huh. this comes from uh, soybeans and corn, both of which have a higher amount of omega-6s to omega-3s. Canola oil, much better ratio, it's about a two to one ratio. Gotcha. Um, uh, omega-6 is one of the, the big problems in our, our American diets right now, so opt for the canola oil. Okay, on the scale of oils out there, what's the absolute worst oil? You, uh, I, you know, vegetable oil is right up there. Like, uh -huh. It's really an overlooked thing, so, so go for uh, canola oil when you cook, and then whenever you're dressing it, use olive oil. All right, okay, here we go. Let's move over to the bacon here. Turkey bacon is better than regular bacon. False. False. Yep. Go for I'm, the real I'm thing. I've given up. Go for the, yeah. <laughs> well, and that's what we're trying to do here. We're really trying to make it simple, and that's what yeah. the big book of food and nutrition is about. Right. You can eat bacon and still be okay. Uh, turkey bacon is not 100% bird, uh, so go for something that's real uh, whenever you're in doubt. You know? and, and if there's any takeaway to that, you know, if you look on the package yeah. for any food, if it doesn't go bad, it's probably not good for you. Okay, you're at a holiday party, there all this, there's all this food on the table. Any general rule? You I, th should, you know, I think that's mind? really it. If, if, you can, if, if you can come back to it in six weeks or four weeks or three weeks <laughs> and it's going to look the same, Probably not good for you. So opt for the things that are perishable and will go bad. Mm, okay, good to know. Joel Weber. Thank Thanks you so for having much. Me. We yep. appreciate it.